Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Rasmussen here. I'm going to be going over how to use SketchUp today um, to make some rings. So get ready to follow along, pause the video if you need to, and uh, yeah, let's just get ready to make some super dope rings. So go ahead and open up Google Chrome or whatever internet browser you're using. Go ahead and just search up SketchUp. It'll be this first one right here. Go to Try SketchUp. And then this window will open. Don't do the trial. Don't do professional. Just go to personal and then do SketchUp free. That's the one we're going to want to use. Uh, right here it'll ask you to log in. I'm already logged in, so it's not going to ask me. Just use Google to sign in. Go ahead and click this drop down menu and we're going to go to decimal centimeters. All right, here we are in our work plane. Uh, we can see the axis, we can see the origin right there, the point where those three axes intersect. Go ahead and click this man and just click delete. A few things to notice though as we get started, if you're using a mouse, if you click down on the scroll wheel, um, the, you get instead of having the selection tool, which is the cursor, you get the orbit tool. That's how we can orbit around and change our view. While on the orbit tool, if I press and hold shift, it becomes the pan tool and pan tool can just move side to side up and down if I'm not using a mouse I can just come over here and I can select the orbit tool now my cursor has changed to the orbit tool and I can just orbit around like this click in orbit same thing I can press and hold shift it becomes the pan tool if I ever get completely lost and I lose my view of the center which is where I'm going to be building my ring I can just go ahead and click control shift E and that will bring me back to home every time. That's going to be like my best friend. Another thing we need to do is we need to change this from untitled. We need to give this a good title, a good name, so that when I have like a thousand documents in here, I can just easily go back and find the one I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. Um, you're going to want to name yours whatever quarter you're in. So right now I'm in first quarter, Q1, underscore the name of the project, ring, underscore which period it is. Uh, I'm just going to say demo because I'm not doing this for any uh, class period specifically. Um, underscore your name. I'll just do Rasmussen. All right. Okay, now I know exactly what this project is just by looking at the name. All right, now we're ready to start building. Over here we have our toolbar. Uh, we're going to come over here to the rectangle. Our, if I go over here to the bottom three dots, it used to be sometimes if you have an older version of SketchUp, you can click and um, click and hold over the rectangle. More tools will pop up. In newer versions, you have to go down and click the three dots down here. So click the three dots, and we want circle. Once we have circle, um, I can go over to the origin. Notice how as when I start hovering over the origin, it'll snap to that location. Go ahead and click the origin and start dragging out. This is just establishing the direction that our circle is going to grow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do 5 centimeters. I just type 5. Notice, see how down here the size is changing. It's telling me what, how big the radius is of my circle. If I let go of the mouse and I just click 5 and then I click enter, it snaps to that size. And I'll be like, hey, wait, where'd my circle go? It's just, we're just zoomed out really far. Just go ahead and click Control shift e and there is our circle. First thing I notice about this circle is it's not a perfect circle. I, I see there's kind of like edges here. So if I do control Z, control Z is just undo, or I can use these arrows up here. I can do uh, undo just like that. If I go back to circle now, I'll notice before I start drawing, it's telling me how many sides this circle has. A circle doesn't actually have any sides, but this is just a 3D or a 2D, for now it's a 2D approximation of what a circle is. And um, so it, it's just approximating a, a, what a true perfect circle is. So to get a better circle, I can just make it have more sides, sides, and um, it'll be a more accurate circle. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to, let's do 60. I type 60 and then I need to press enter. Now when I click the origin, I start dragging out. I can just let go. And then I can click 
oh, let's see, it's at 2.7. I can just drag it out to 5. Or I can type 5 on my keyboard and then press enter. It'll snap to that size. And see how this circle? This circle looks a lot more circular than our previous circle. And I really like that about this one. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Um, next step is going to be to draw another circle. So here I still have my circle tool. Go ahead and draw this circle. Draw this one out to 4 and press enter. Okay, now I have a larger circle and smaller circle inside of a larger circle. Go over to the cursor or the selection tool, and we want to select the inside circle. Just this inside circle. Uh, go ahead and click this, and then just click delete, just like that. Now I got a donut kind of shape. After I have the donut shape, uh, I'm going to go over to a new tool called push pull tool. It's this tool right here, or I can just type P on the keyboard. I grab the push pull tool, and now I can see the, what the push pull tool is gives this shape thickness. Right now it has no thickness, it's just a 2D shape. So if I hover over, I can see that it highlights blue. I'm going to click and drag. See how it's starting to tell me how far I move up? I'm going to make mine, I, I'm just going to eyeball it. Let's see what looks good to me. I think 1.5 looks perfect to me. Okay, so here I have a ring. Nice and easy. I do think doing this with a mouse is a little bit easier, so if you want to borrow a mouse, that's totally fine. Um, so this is what I would call level 1 ring. Okay, We're going to do three levels. So uh, yeah, this is just level 1. Go ahead and grab the selection tool again, and triple click this shape. Tri when I mean triple click, I just mean Click three times fast, either on the trackpad or left click with your mouse. So there you go, triple click. Notice how everything highlights blue. If I single click, I get just this top plane to be blue. If I double click, it highlights blue on that plane plus the edge. A triple click will give me the whole shape. So I'm going to triple click and then press delete. Because now we're moving on to level two. Uh, level 2 is going to be similar to level 1, but instead of starting with a circle, I'm going to start with a polygon. Okay, see how my polygon is starting with 6 sides. If I just click in on the origin and start dragging, I'll see that I have a hexagon. Um, I don't want a hexagon for this ring. And notice right now if I just press exit and I'm trying to type a number, it's not letting me change the number of sides now, which I want to do. So I need to go back to selection or any other tool and then go back to polygon uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do let's do 24 and press enter okay 24 sides I'm gonna click the center origin start dragging out go to 5 centimeters type 5 on the keyboard and press enter alright now I got this shape notice it's a little more it's got edges um, unlike the circle now I'm going to go back to the three dots on the bottom, go to circle tool now, make an inside circle that's four centimeters in radius. Everything after this is the exact same as what we've done before. Grab the selection tool, delete the center, and then go to push pull tool and bring this up. I'm going to do 1.5. Notice the difference in this one. This one has individual ridges on, the, on it. Whereas the last one was completely smooth on the outside. So I think this is really cool. Um, this is our level 2 ring right here with a little bit of ridges on the outside. Okay, go ahead and delete that. And take a, make sure to take a screenshot if you're doing this for my class because you're going to need to screenshot level 1, level 2, and level 3. So let's go ahead and get started with our level 3 ring. Level 3 ring is going to start out exactly the same as level 2. First I need the polygon. Change it to how many other sides you'd like. I'm going to go down just a little bit. Let's do, I'm going to do 16 this time. Press enter. Click the center. Drag out to 5. Press enter. See the bumps, the, or the ridges are a little bit bigger than last time. Grab a circle tool, grab the circle tool, origin, drag it out to four, press enter. Selection tool, delete the center, 
push pull tool, bring it up. I'm doing 1.5 for mine. All right, awesome. Now, a level three ring is customizing this ring to be however you'd like it to be. So a few things you can do to customize is notice when I have the push pull tool and I highlight over these blue over these edges, it turns blue. So that means I can actually edit this and I can bring it out a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it look kind of like a diamond ring. I'm going to drag this one out a little less than the center. Uh, let's make this one just a little bit bigger. Okay, that's looking cool to me. Um, another thing I can do with my tape measure tool, if I go press the three dots and go to tape measure, tape measure can create some guides. So on the center, um, center square, I'm going to click this corner and go to this corner, this corner to this corner. Now I know where the exact center of the square is. I can go back to circle tool. I'm going to draw a circle. So then I actually have a diamond for on my diamond ring. That's a little too much. <laughs> Let's drag that back just a little bit. Okay, that's looking really good to me. Maybe just a little more subtle. Okay, so I'd like you to customize your ring. Another thing I can do to customize is I can go over here to this uh, this menu, this bar over here. If I click on this cube right here with the checkers, this is how I can change the colors of my ring. I can click here and this is just paint. I can change what colors are on my ring. I can also change the material. If I go over here, I can I clicked um, on this magnifying glass. I can change what kind of materials these are, and it's these are there's some super cool things inside of here. Um, here I have more colors. Um, let's go to I like glass a lot. So let's make it look kind of glassy. Ooh, that's nice. That's like kind of see through, kind of transparent. That's really cool. Um, let's see another feature I can use. Let's grab another color. Let's maybe try green. Ooh, I like that too. And maybe I'll go to this one for the center diamond. So yeah, here's my customization of my ring. I'm just seeing what everything does, kind of changing it up and seeing it going until I find one that I really like. So for level three ring, I'd just like you to experiment, come up with your own ring, customize it, make it look nice, however you'd like it to look. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. Um, you can do whatever shape you'd like for the jewel here. You can um, edit how many ever little, I guess, little spikes you want on the outside. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, any way you'd like. Just go ahead and submit a screenshot of this once you're done uh, and make sure to do all three rings, uh, have a screenshot of all three rings and um, that'll be the assignment. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I guess don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, see ya.